different dimension demons, conquerors and kings of the different dimension, the Triple D, were banished from the metagame and cast out into the shadows for all time. Ignored by the tier list for having no natural advantages against the metagame, the Triple D wanders the shadows of obscurity awaiting the day for a duelist to sign their death contract. Slime, Howl, Dragon. If you want to play Triple D, this is a combo you must master. But against this meta, it's not enough. On the first turn, indestructible monsters with 3800 stats are commonplace. I need to find a way to take my game to the next level. Or my method of dueling dies here and now. I sought the dark contract for its secrets. And its power is rooted in darkness. For the Triple D, each duel is like a duel quiz. Each opponent a problem to be solved. It was with that realization I discovered the truth to preserve my method of dueling and to honor my beatdown style. I'll need to surpass my limits and find new combos for the Triple D. This is why I signed the Dark Contract. Behold, this is the power of my different dimension demon. But you're not here for my story. You want to see more of my new techniques? Very well. High King OTK! With the power of the High King, I can overwhelm my opponent. Beowulf OTK! With the power of Beowulf, I can pierce through my opponent's defenses. Armenis OTK! With the power of Armides, I can break through your defensive barriers. And the most powerful spell of the Dark Contract. Invocation! With the power of the Invoke Package, my Triple D fusions have no limit! Rise up, Kings! 
and claim the throne. Go! Triple D! But I only need one card. Sorry, my forbidden chalice spell negates Varane's effect. You can never stop true kings. Damn, the sheer new style. This is the Triple D's worst matchup. Back row, monster protection, monster destruction. This is the versatility of the Shirinui style. However, I have a few tricks of my own. From my graveyard, my monster effect activates. Rise from the netherworld to redeem your soul. Cry out into the night and beckon forth the king of kings. Synchro Cross Fusion, Triple D, Guthai King Alexander, and Dragon Bane, King Beowulf. And the spell card, Necro Valley. This spell can make even world champions surrender. Yes, with these different dimension demons. The time has finally come to never miss. Dueling Log, August 15th, 2020. Today is the day. I've reached KOG yet again with the Triple D, but this particular KOG means more than any other. It's the first KOG where I actually tried. I tried to defeat the meta at its strongest because I was challenged by viewers who wanted to see if the Triple D had what it takes to make it to a KOG. But I'm afraid I may have went too far. In order to be successful, I had to tech powerful cards against this meta. Invoke Neos, Witchcrafters, Shiranui, Blackwing, and Blue Eyes White Dragon are the most powerful decks used as of right now. And in order to combat this, I use a combination of specific tech. This tech, strong enough to combat each and every deck, except for one, the Blackwings. The Blackwings were the anomaly of the meta. Even though it wasn't the most popular deck out there, it was one that really came down to a coin toss. Depending on who went first, the second player would have the full advantage. Triple D versus Blackwing. You know how that ends up. Somebody's gonna get three monsters on the board and attack for game. But outside of those, we had a lot of different matchups. And those matchups mostly consisted of just three decks. Invoked Neos. Witchcrafter and Shiranui. There are occasional blue eyes white dragon decks from here to there, but our Armides was able to take care of them quickly. The real battle for KOG is against Invoke Neos, Witchcrafter, and Shiranui. Meaning that I needed specific tech to battle these three decks, then also be able to control and defeat the other decks from the ranked PvP ladder. That's why I teched in these cards. The Forbidden Chalice a quick play spell that allows you to raise a monster on the field's attack points by 400, but also negating its monster effect until the end of the turn. Meaning, if you're cursed to go first with the Triple D, you can set your Forbidden Chalice to stop the plays of the Witchcrafters, Blue Eyes White Dragon, or Shiranu. But honestly, the Forbidden Chalice does come with its weaknesses. Against a deck like Black Wings, it's hard to survive. Additionally, I'm using the field spell card known as Necro Valley. Now this is a powerful and controversial card. This card can allow you to lock your opponent's graveyard out at, and also prevent them from changing attributes or types in the graveyard, meaning the Invoke deck, Witchcrafter deck, Shiranui deck, and Blue Eyes White Dragon decks will all be punished hard by this field spell. 
the best time to use it is of course directly after you have completed your Triple D Summoning Combo. Also, I'm using Armides. Now this powerful Synchro Monster is something new and out of the ordinary. By using DD Squirrel Slime and also DD Night Howl, I can use these monsters as Synchro materials to summon Armides. And once Armides is on the field, I can banish my DD Squirrel Slime to special summon a high level monster from my hand. With three high level monsters on the field, you know what skill I'm gonna activate. And when it's over, Armides has 3200 attack points. And don't forget about this powerful combination. I'm using Alistair the Invoker, along with Invocation and Purgatorio. These three cards allow me to be more versatile than ever in my Triple D deck allowing me to boost my monster's attack points from my hand to surprise my opponent, while also giving me the ability to have an additional spell card that is searchable to fuse my triple D and double D monsters together. But maybe here is the most powerful, if not the most clever, of the invoked package. Because we are using triple D Flame King Genghis, if he's ever removed from the field or destroyed, I can use his sacrifice and fuse him with my Alistair the Invoker to summon Purgatorio to attack for Dane. But unfortunately, Purgatorio never really hits the field. He's subject to Kanadia. He's subject to many of that room, which allows me to extend my double D and triple D plays to attack for Dane. And for now, that's all I have. I'll have to leave this world to you, the true duelist, to show them the power of your rogue style. Show them that a tier list has no bearing on your skill. And when you combine your skill with the heart of the cards, you can never miss. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep it down. For my wins, I need my hands. This life is real. If they pretend, they must have been. I get it in. I get it in.